Well, good morning, everyone. As promised, I'm back. And we've got three large uh, aircraft departing in this video. We've got Emirates will be going first, followed by either Japan or Korean, which is already pushed back. So we'll be, uh, it'll be a video of the big guys going now. And we'll have a few internationals arriving as well, plus a few domestics that'll be departing as well on uh, three, four left. just been informed that this British aircraft with the Union Jack all over it, we're not going to be seeing that in uh, Sydney. Instead, uh, what's it, the RAAF have taken a 737 MAX up to Singapore to continue bringing Charles and Camilla down. So unfortunately, you're not going to see any fancy uh, planes doing the uh, trips this time around it's just going to be one of our maxes that's going to do it and also it's the 26th will be the departure date for the uh, last of the uh, 717s and that's the one which has got the Tasmanian uh, devil on the side with the footprints One's already departed Canberra today for Pago Pago and eventually to the United States. Emirates, then it'll be Korean, then it'll be JAL. Off to the races, I believe. Charles doesn't like races, I don't think. Yeah. If, if Queen Elizabeth was still alive, she'd be all bets going to the races. She loved it. She loved betting on the ponies. She would have been there. Hang on, I'll give a demo in a minute. 
should have been doing the opening ceremony for the uh, Snakes Day tomorrow. Hello, Australia. Welcome to the races. I would like to now confirm this open. Now shut up and get on with the event. <laughs> Welcome, Australia. I'm very proud to be here with you men and women. I love being in Australia. Huh? I don't know. I'm not I think she might have. Yeah. Yeah. My fame of seeing the Queen. Uh, no, it was at Bathurst back in 1981. She turned up in Bathurst. I don't know. I'm not sure. But yeah, she was in her. Uh, I do not know, but uh, I think I think almost that most of the town's population turned up, including Orange and Dubbo and. Let's go and whatever else. 1981, yeah. Go inside with Charles. Remember back then Prince Charles and Lady Diana getting married. And when Prince Andrew actually behaved himself. When the mate, when the large ones go, yeah. you won't get all this interruption. It's just one seven three seven after another at the moment. a nice splash as it goes. And the reflection on the runway is nice too. And it also means no, no heat haze. Nothing worse than heat haze in the summer. Oh, the Australian cricket uh, team got beaten last night, the women's. Yeah, South Africa got them. Yeah. The other game is New Zealand playing who? New Zealand playing who? New Zealand playing who was the other game. Oh, yeah. They went to wins that will play South Africa in the final. Yeah. So that was special. Well, the old saying, you can't win them all. Unless you're Manchester City. <laughs> God damn, my son's up. He, 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 he's hoping to God. Um, yeah, he's hoping Arsenal could do it this year. Problem is, Man City's that damn good. Who's going to stop him? The thing is, you know, if you're at a particular level, you play teams in Europe, some things, yeah. Yeah. This is a beautiful. This is 
grey brown colour. We have an international arrival. Don't forget, coming up, anyone from Brisbane, you'll be uh, welcoming two new airlines this summer. You'll be getting American Airlines 787s and also Delta Airlines A350s starting up in Brisbane this summer. I think it's November, I believe it's starting. But don't quote me, but uh, something more to look forward to. And then next year, Qantas has announced they're going to be using the A380 on the Dallas route. I think of a better start to the day. Yep. Here we are, 717, the only one left in the fleet. This is the last one, guys. To get on one, hurry up, you've only got another week to do it. 717, the last one left. That's the only one you're going to see in Australia now. And come the 26th of October, they'll be gone forever. We used to have plentiful, they were all over Australia at one stage. I think we had uh, I think we had about 30 almost, 25, 30 or something at one stage. Had a lot, but they've now dwindled down to one. There were two this morning. One's already departed back, well, back to, well, onto its new home, and this uh, last remaining one. What's their capacity? How many, how, what do they carry? They, they carry about 120 passengers. Oh, yeah, I think they've got that much. yeah, it's three two seating, oh. about 110 to 120. Oh, right. 
The new A220 is quite a to get in. They're going to be able to carry 132. Right, here comes Korean. Engines in the world? Uh, yes, I, the I believe races, so. They? Yeah. They're longer than an A380. Yeah, with a large diameter. Yeah. Bloody good looking plane. Until the, what, the triple, what's the 777X? That'll be the, um, the G9. Yeah, I think they're 900s or 1000s or whatever. Even larger engines. Yeah. And the wing and the wing tips uh, yeah, fold yeah, up, yeah, right. so they can go into terminals without. Uh, be yeah. Too many delays. Huh? They keep getting delayed. Yep. It's been the way. Like seven eight sevens were delayed. A three eighties were delayed back when they were building them. Technical issues, yeah. Boeing's having trouble because staff are going on strike, so, yeah. Yep, yep. like it's had to wait for a bit. Ah, uh, looks like oh, it's, uh, I guess we'll find out. end this video here thank you for watching hope you enjoyed it and we'll be back with another video very shortly